what is going on you guys it's extreme here and i am back with another episode of my road to max prestige this is episode 28 and if any of you guys out there follow me on facebook or twitter you may have saw a post i did the other day saying no episode of road to max prestige today family comes first yada 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 now there was a reason for this post and i want to you know quickly explain what happened and why i didn't have this video up the other day so once again uh i am getting sick and it is all to blame on my brother's kids and my brother and sister-in-law because last week they also were all sick and um because of this like my brother was really bad and for the record my sister-in-law works in the morning so it's literally just my brother and the two younger ones at home and he was so weak and just exhausted that he couldn't do anything like he kept passing out so he calls me over thursday and he goes dude i need a favor please come over and sit with the kids and then again on friday and i said all right fine no problem so there it is um i uh went and sat with the kids and everything worked out i guess but unfortunately they've been sick since monday yeah at the time of this recording it is saturday at 7 12 in the morning i haven't been to bed yet because i feel like dog shit and i just can't fall asleep so i'm doing this for you guys and i hope you guys will enjoy today's episode as well as the next two episodes because we're gonna do story time and today i do have a story for you but before we get into that i have one other piece of business i need to deal with and that is i want to let you guys know that as of this recording i do not have anything else shot i don't have any episodes of Becoming Legends shot. Uh, I have no episodes of Zombies shot. So I'm going to try and get Zombies done. But beyond that, uh, Becoming Legend is going to take a, a long-term hiatus until I am completely and utterly over being sick, you guys. So maybe another two weeks before we get I get anything up for you guys. Hopefully before new content. That is my goal. But we'll see what happens. Um... As for the zombies, like I said, I'm going to try. I'm going to try real hard, man, but I don't know how I'm going to feel in a few hours. I may feel even worse than I do now. So I'm going to try and get these videos done for you guys, and then, yeah, beyond that, we'll see what happens. Anywho, so the story I have for you guys today, it, um, well, it's not a story. It's a sexual story. I'll tell you that much. Well, sort of, uh, but it doesn't directly involve me, okay? So, I am in the story, obviously, but I'm not the one getting the, the fun time, okay? So, when I worked at the theater, for those of you that don't know, I used to work for a pretty well-known theater. I've said the name before, I think, but I'm not going to here. And uh, I worked there from like 2000 to 2002. While I worked at this theater, we had this couple that worked there. One of them uh, was a supervisor and the other one was just a normal employee. So, the funny thing is, though, it was kind of well known that this couple engaged in certain activity while on the clock. And it was eventually figured out exactly where they were going, but no one really cared because they, it never, they never did anything when it mattered. You know, they, they only ever fooled around when it was dead. So, no one really cared. Management didn't even care. Hell, as far as they were concerned, they didn't know shit. So, <coughs> excuse me. So that was the thing. Um, however, where they chose to engage in said activities, maybe not the best choice, because the place they chose to fool around in was this little side room that was in the projections booth. Now, the problem with this side room is that, well... It's a two-way lock, which means, well, maybe not right. This is probably not the right way of putting it, but um, in order to open the door, you had to have a key to get in the door and to get out of the door when you get back out. So the long and short of it is you need keys, okay? <laughs> um, so one day, uh, middle of the week, early, there's nobody there. Staff's not really doing anything. There's really no, literally, there's nobody fucking there. And I, not just 
gust customers or guests, uh, staff as well. There was nobody there. So I'm just kind of doing my own thing, walking around, making sure everything is okay, checking shit. Like I said, it's early. There's nothing going on. Management doesn't give a fuck. Um, all of a sudden, over the radio, I hear, Ed, I repeat, Ed, come to the projections booth. Ed, please come to the projections booth. And I'm thinking, what the fuck? I'm not allowed at the projections booth. Why the fuck are they calling me in the projections booth? I'm not supposed to be in there. Seriously, I'm really not supposed to be in there. That's a whole nother story for a different time. I'm just saying. So, the thing is, this theater was two stories. So I go up to the top floor, go into the top floor projections booth, and I'm looking around for him. Can't find him. And I, I'm looking and I'm looking. And I can't find who's calling me. And I'm like, what the fuck? Okay, obviously they're in the other one. So I go down to the other one. Now, I get down into the second projections room. And I'm, I'm walking around. And I notice something strange on the floor. I see a shirt, a pair of pants, a pair of panties, a bra, another shirt, another pair of pants, and a pair of boxers. Uh oh. I realize in that exact moment, I have walked in on the couple having some fun. Except, they're the ones that called me into the projections room, so where are they? And <laughs> I proceed to look for them. Because now I'm like, dude, she's naked. She got a nice body. I want to see. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, I'm a douche and a perv. So of course, there I am looking around. I can't find them. Their clothes are here, but they're not. After a little bit, I kind of see something out of the corner of my eye that immediately makes me start just dying laughing. And they obviously heard me because the next thing I hear is pounding on a door. In case you're wondering, out of the corner of my eye, I could see dangling from the doorknob the set of keys needed to enter and exit this little room. I'm just dying of laughter though, because I know behind that door are two naked individuals who are probably deadly afraid I'm going to see their naked bits. Specifically, the girl, who is my supervisor, mind you. So, I'm just like, well, I could have some fun here and torture the fuck out of these guys. You know, oh, should I do it? Should I be a dick? I'm literally debating this as they're still banging on the door waiting for me to, to come up and say, Hey, what's going on? A few minutes go by, I finally walk up and I'm like, Hey, what are you guys doing in there? Why the fuck your clothes on the floor? Come on, this ain't your house. You better not be doing, you better not be fucking playing with yourselves. That'd be wrong. You know, you're not supposed to do that, right? And I can hear the guy just start dying laughing because he knows he's busted. And he knows I'm going to fuck with him now. The girl, however, my again, my supervisor, not very thrilled about this situation. Ed, you need to open the door right now. Wait, 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 before you open the door, can you can you hand me my clothes, please? And I'm all, yeah, sure, boss, no problem. Uh, hey, look, here's what I'll do. Um, I don't want to touch your clothes because that's just wrong and dirty. And it, I'm not the one that took them off you. So uh, I'm going to open the door a little bit. And then I'm gonna go upstairs. I'll wait like three minutes or like two minutes. Get, let me leave. And then you come out, get your stuff, and you guys are good, right? You know, I'll hold on to the keys, you know, in case you guys lock yourself in there again. And <laughs> legit, she actually says, okay, that's a good idea. Really? Like, <laughs> you know who I am. I can be an ass. I mean, I'm a nice guy. I am. I'm a real nice guy. I'm not a good guy all the time though, okay? I'm not a nice guy all the time. I can be a dick. And she knew this, yet she trusted me. For whatever reason, she trusted me. Now this woman, who mind you is maybe only like two years old than me, okay? Holds the door and waits the two minutes or so that I that was necessary for me to leave. Eventually she opens the door full blower, standing there completely naked with a deadly ghostly white look on her face when she sees me standing there with a camera a polaroid camera no less click thank you yeah after about 
five minutes it took her to get dressed and chase me down for that fucking picture. Um, <laughs> she demanded I never tell a, a single soul what I saw that day. I will say right now, oh my god, I'm glad I hid the picture somewhere she most definitely wasn't going to go. Uh, <laughs> for the record, no, I don't have the picture anymore. I lost it a few years back. But... I held it over her head for a while, man. Oh, I was a dick. Hey, I need to, I need to take uh, Friday off for whatever reason. Can you cover for me? No, no, I can't, Ed. I'm sorry. Hey, you know that picture I got? Yeah, shut up, fucker. Literally, I did that at least three times. And I was always fucking around with her. Like, I really would never be that big of a dick. But it was fun. And uh, I enjoyed it. For the record, the guy in this whole thing thought the whole thing was hilarious. And he knew me well enough to know I never would have done anything. And the only reason he let me keep the picture and didn't kick my ass? His exact words were, Ed, you're a good dude. That's the closest you're ever going to get to her, so you might as well enjoy it. Yeah, for the record, I punched him in the face after he said that. But still, it was funny. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. I still feel like shit. I'm going to try my damnedest to get the next two episodes recorded for you guys. And uh, they will be story time episodes. I just got to figure out exactly what I'm going to talk about. So... As always, until next time, wait, 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 hang on real quick, like, um, before I forget, I have a story I want to share with you guys, but it's not a fun story, and I'm going to put this out there now, if you guys want me to share this particular story that I'm referring to right now, a non-fun story, let me know, I will share it with you guys if you really want to hear it, it's not at all a fun story, it's not a funny story, uh, it's a kind of a serious story that happened while I was working in the theater, and I only remembered it just recently. So if you guys want me to tell you that story, I will, but you got to tell me you want to hear it. Anyways, as I was saying, until next time, adios.